Grand Rising. Today I want to talk about holding your vision. Holding your vision. Imagination creates all reality. You may not have everything that you want, but you have everything that you need. You may think you need money, but you need a vision. And you need to hold on to that vision. Because when you hold on to that vision in your mind, you begin to plant seeds and to give it life in the outer world. So whenever you say your affirmations, sometimes you feel like you're lying to yourself. So if you have a bank account and you don't have a lot of money in there and you're saying affirmations, I am a millionaire, I am wealthy, I am abundant. You may feel like you're lying to yourself, but I'm here to tell you that you're not because you're actually planting seeds. So you cannot have your harvest until you plant the seeds. So saying your affirmations and feeling them to be true with conviction is actually going to increase your bank account because your consciousness is the one and only reality. And once you become conscious of wealth, abundance, freedom, love, once you become conscious of that and embody that feeling, then you're going to give birth to it in the outer world. So your conscious is the male and your subconscious is the female. So your thoughts, your emotions are going to go into the subconscious mind and then it's going to come out in the 3D world. But they're not happening. They're not happening separately. They're happening simultaneously. So it's not a A and then a B. It's actually just one. So it's happening at the same time. And I think the misunderstanding when it comes to manifesting is that people think that you manifest something mentally and then you see it appear in the outer world. But the thing is, it's happening mentally and in the outer world at the same exact time. So there's not a separation between the two. It just may it may seem like it's taking time to get to you, but that's because you're not feeling the naturalness of it. Because once you feel the naturalness of it, then you can instantly manifest whatever you whatever you desire. But you have to hold on to your vision. So you cannot say your affirmations. And then the next hour, you're affirming the complete opposite. You may not verbally say, I don't have any money, but you're walking around with the feeling of not having it. Are you with me? So now you see why it's important to hold on to your vision. You must hold on to your vision because this is how you give life to it. So think of your your subconscious mind as a tape player. And everything that you are saying to yourself is recording it. It's recording it over and over and over. Everything that you feel, everything that you watch, everything thing, everything that you surround yourself with is being recorded into your subconscious mind. And then the very next day, everything that you put in there is going to play out to you. It's going to play. So if you want if you want to hear different music or if you want to see a different outer world, then you have to record something differently. So that means that you're going to have to start doing things a different way than how you did before. So if you've never ran a business, you're not going to run the business the same way that you had a job. So when you have your business, you might have more responsibilities. You might deal with more customers. You might have to learn some type of class or some type of knowledge so you can teach people. So... You're going to have to alter the way that you do things. And you do this by uh, creating small habits that are going to lead you to the direction that you want to go in. So this might mean that you have to go to bed early. This might mean that you have to believe in yourself more. This means writing down your, your, your lesson, your plans. So it's about doing things that are going to fit you for the future. So you may lose your job. Certain things are are happening once you decide that that's what you want to do. 
But remember that everything is always happening for you in your favor. The universe is always on your side. But you must hold on to your vision. No matter what happens, hold on to your vision. Because you might think, oh man, I can't believe I just lost my job and I'm trying to start a new business. Well, you didn't have time to work on your business because you were working 50, 60, 70 hours a week at that job. You had no time for yourself, no time for your family. Now that you lost your job, you have nothing but time. So you may not see it as an opportunity, but this is a this could be a golden opportunity for you to start your business. You may get lots of clients. You know, your business may hit the ground running right away and your income can replace your job. So don't look at any situation as opposing, you know, some type of opposition towards you. Remember that the universe is always on your side, but you must hold on to your vision. So if you have a vision today and you're listening to this video, write down exactly what you want. So if you want freedom, write it down. I am so grateful for my freedom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then turn the turn the page. And on the next page, write down, what are you going to do with this freedom? So your intentions, make your intentions clear. Because if you, if you don't have any direction, you're not going to know where to go. You're just going to be wandering around, wasting time. You're going to meet the wrong people. You're going to put yourself in, in the situation that you don't want to be in. So be very specific on exactly what you want. So if you were going online and you were on Amazon and you were placing an order, let's just say you want to buy, um, for example, let's just say I'm on Amazon and I want to buy some dog food for my dog. So I have to order the exact kind that I want. Um, how many pounds do I want? And when I want it to get to me. I'm not just going to say, oh, hmm, I'll let Amazon pick out my dog food give it to me whenever they want to in whatever size bag. Are you with me? So the same thing as with Amazon or any other place that you guys shop online, you want to do the same thing. So the universe will give you whatever you desire as long as you believe in it. And you believe in it by seeing yourself already having it. So holding on to the vision. When you hold on to your vision, so when you create this mental picture in your mind, and you see yourself having your desire and you imagine this desire with feelings and positive emotions, that's how it comes to you. So hold on to your vision. Do not let anything alter you to think differently, except that you already have it. Your wish is already fulfilled. Hold on to your vision. Get you a notebook. So I'm big on scripting because it's easy and effortlessly. So get your notebook, get your fancy uh, pencil, get you a fancy uh, pen, and you want to do this as often as you need to. And once you start manifesting some of those things, you're going to understand that your feelings must be involved in your imaginal scene because you're not going to manifest everything that you think about. If that were the case, then elephants will be falling out of the sky. Money will be falling out of the sky. And it doesn't work like that. It's not difficult to manifest, but you have to be specific on what you want. And most of the time, people don't know what they want because they're just doing the things that their family done. You know, their colleagues are doing, their friends are doing. But be honest with yourself. What do you truly want right now? What do you what do you want? Write it down on a piece of paper and get to work. See yourself already having it. Write down your goals, say your affirmations, create your imaginal scene, and then you walk around with the feeling of already having it. It's called the law, the law of assumption. It's in the Bible. When you have a desire and you pray, believe that you have already received it and you will. So this is a universal law. You have to assume that you already have it. So if you already have it, how would you feel? How would you really feel? And that feeling is going to help you hold on to your vision. And then that vision is going to manifest in your outer world. Life is good. If you did like this video and it resonates with you, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Go out there and use your gifts and make life happen. Peace.